Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Anyway, so, with our ship wrecked on a um, Catalox Island here, our next mission is to find town. I think that might be a good indicator where we need to go. Shall we see? Mm. Why are we... S oh no! The fuzz! They're onto us! They're... Wait, we haven't done anything. Why are the police out here? Yeah, I agree, Mega Man. What's going on here? Old man, what is happening? Ah, Mega Man! The police saw us crash land and came to check up on us. Well, you certainly put on quite a show. But it looks like everyone's alright. Let me welcome you to Captain Lock's Island. Now, I'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station. We need you to fill out an immigration form so you can get your registration and ID card. You can't enter the city without one. Don't worry. It won't take very long while you're waiting. You can spend your time in the shop in arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor? Hmm. Well, the town seems to have found us, so now what do we do? Uh, let's, let's see what Roll has to say. Yeah, Roll. Stop staring blankly off into space and talk to us. Hey, that's actually a pretty brilliant idea. What do you know? She's useful for something, other than making pointless commentary that really doesn't need to be made. Actually, she, she is actually a very useful character to the storyline. I just really hate her in the bonus dungeon because she, like, says the stupidest stuff. It's like, oh my god, you don't know how to open a door. You can't see a door that's two inches from your face. Can you see it? Are you sure you absolutely can see that door? Yeah. That's his problem. Why, why is he staring at that hut? Is there something? Hey, it's got those weird markings kind of like inside the dungeon, huh? Oh, hey, it's some ruins. Hmm. Well, it sounds like you're in quite a pickle, buddy. Wish I could help you, but you're kind of blocked, but yeah. We'll just go do our own thing over here in the shopping arcade. Hmm. What exactly is a shopping arcade, anyway? I mean, I've only heard it, you know, the term used twice. Once in this, once within this game, or rather, in this game, or this place, a shopping arcade, and another, the anime series, a magical shopping arcade, a Benabashi. Twice I've heard the term shopping arcade, and I still have no clue what it is. And maybe someday I should look that up, and... Why would people throw money in the trash? Eh, oh, whatever. So let's see, we need to find somewhere where we can... buy parts for an airship. Um, where the hell would you buy parts for an airship at anyway? I have no idea. Woohoo! I usually don't manage to do that in so few shots. But yes, I just got a thousand zenny for putting away a can in the jet lag bag. Keep our streets clean. Put trash in its proper place. A message from Mega Man. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Um, clothing, fruit, music electronics, and yeah, maybe the electronics. Probably not the electronics. See, I mean, I see fridges, washers, TVs. Ooh, broken cleaner. It's gonna be useful. Well, in a little bit. Not not immediately. So we got two bakeries, a Akbar toy store. The hell? <laughs> a 
Right, let's advertise our game in our game. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see. Another clothing store, a bookstore. I hmm. wonder what kind of books they got. Huh. Uh, yeah. Let's not look there again. How's that sound? Hey, there's something else in there's something in this trash can. Get that's an important skill to learn in this game. Kicking trash cans. It's the quickest and easiest. Wow, oh, 20 zenny. That was so not worth it. Anyway, it's the quickest and easiest way to find stuff if, if there's something in a trash can. Kick it. If the lid goes flying off, it's empty. Kind of like that box. But if the lid stays on, there's something in it. Hopefully, like in this box. Anything inside? Woohoo! Oh, hey, 100 zenny. Sweet. Okie dokie. Let's see. If no one else had it, let's see if this junk shop has parts for a ship. I wonder if that was the old man we saw standing outside the hut. Uh, yeah, we know what a dig is. It's going underground, looking for old machine parts. Yeah, we do it for a living, lady. Come on. Give us some credit. I mean, what do you think the boy with the robotic body does for a living, huh? We're gonna need to do this to advance the plot anyway, I bet, so yeah, let's go find him. And if not, it's a side quest. Side quests account for most money you earn in video games, so therefore, also useful. Because trust me, we aren't—we don't need much in the way of money right now, but uh, within not too long, it will be extremely useful to have lots of money. But for the time being, go rescue the old man! And maybe kick that can. Yeah, I don't have time to do that on camera. Maybe I'll go do it a couple of times off camera. Cause yeah, it's actually a fun little thing to do. You can actually turn Mega Man into evil Mega Man by doing a couple of different things. It basically just makes his armor darker. It doesn't do anything really different. I think it changes actually some of the dialogue in the game, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really certain on that one, so don't quote me on it. But anyway. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and I actually, have, I've never seen what evil Mega Man looks like. You know, I mean, I always heard like his armor turns darker. Okay, and I'm not gonna bother with you, robots or Reaper bots, whatever you are. However, you're in my way, so therefore I'm gonna shoot you and take your money. Ha ha! There we go. And also, just as you should check trash cans and boxes for items, you should also check holes in the wall, because God only knows what's stuffed in a hole in the wall, like 2,000 zenny. That's a lot of zenny to be stuck down. You stupid. Bum. You know what occurs to me? I don't know what any of the reaver bots are. We'll call that a trash can reaver bot. Because it looks kind of like a spinning trash can that spits out bombs. So therefore, trash can reaver bot sounds appropriate. Also, it pretty much has the fighting aptitude of trash can anyway. I mean, seriously, that thing is weak beyond belief. Okay. And yeah, I know I said I wouldn't be using the lock on much, but this is one of those cases where it's really useful. Clearing out lots of enemies that are either flying, or just flying enemies in general, or lots of really weak enemies that you really don't want to take the time to manually target because they'll just blow them away in one hit anyway, and there's nothing threatening you. Why are you still dancing like an idiot? Let's talk to you and tell you to stop dancing. Because you're, quite frankly, your dance is scaring small children. Yes, Mr. Blue Boy! Hey, what do you know? He was the junk shop owner. Hmm. I don't know if you can run so fast. Um, why exactly didn't you just run past all that? Well, I don't know. Narrow hallways and, let's face it, the trash can reaver bots, although weak, aren't exactly. I thought I killed them all. Hmm. Anyway, like I was saying, trash can reaper bots, they aren't exactly the, you know, they're not that strong, but they are kind of big and bulky and can get in your way. And, uh, oh, oh, ow. Okay, now I was supposed to kick that, not get hit in the head by it. Let's try that again. Oh god, that's nice. Grab that. You can't get up there. It's okay, that actually doesn't lead anywhere from under quickly. It basically leads that way we can get into town quicker. For no apparent reason. And if you... I guess... 
No, actually, there is no purpose. It basically leads into the middle of town for no apparent reason. And it's, it's been ten minutes, so I guess we should end this video here. I guess we'll see what our token of appreciation for doing it, for helping that guy out is next time. But until then, dancing monkey time! I mean, until then, later, folks.